Protecting a healthy wheat crop from the devastating effects of septoria and rust infections is essential to maintaining high yield. Zolatanol is distributed over the leaf surface as a fine spray. Unique surfactants encourage the spray droplets to stick and spread over the leaf surface. This maximizes both plant coverage and the amount of zolatanol available for uptake. The product is absorbed into the leaf and distributed by both translaminar movement and distinct sideways movement, especially in the direction of the leaf tip. Unlike some other active ingredients, this movement results in a more uniform distribution throughout the leaf tissue. Zolatanol is absorbed by the developing hyphae through direct contact, either as it grows on the leaf surface or during its early growth inside the leaf tissue after penetrating through the stomata. The hyphae's energy is produced in its mitochondria, subcellular organelles that use the host plant's own glucose in order to support growth within the host. One of the crucial intermediate stages of this complex energy production process, starting with glucose, is the formation of succinic acid. Succinic acid reacts with an enzyme known as complex 2, succinate dehydrogenase, to produce fumaric acid. This fumaric acid is released to continue the energy creation process, leaving the complex 2 free to accept more succinic acid in a continuing cycle of energy production. This process is efficiently disrupted by solatinol. Solatinol has both a very good physical fit with this enzyme and also binds strongly to the complex 2 enzyme, blocking the reaction. The mitochondria are left unable to function, starving the hyphae of the energy they need to survive. Because of its distribution both on and inside the leaf, and due to its strong intrinsic activity, zolatanol is highly protectant, preventing infection at the initial stages of disease development in order to maximize leaf productivity. By preventing the disease developing before it can cause damage, the water and nutrients can flow freely into the leaves. Leaf tissue is protected maintaining photosynthetic potential and preventing excessive water loss. The production of sugars necessary for growth and yield is sustained and sugars can be freely transported from the leaf to the developing ear for maximum yield. Zolatinol's more complete leaf protection allows the plant to fulfil its high yielding potential.